You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Snooki and Jay Wow After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Snooki and Jay Wow After I Show. to episode six, Honeymoon is Over, and I'm your host, Erica Vera, and I am joined here. We've got a new face with us. Hello, hello. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Steph Z. Yay! Welcome, Steph C. So, Christy, as you guys might have noticed, hasn't been here the last couple weeks. She found um, another really cool kind of thing that's going on, unfortunately, that conflicts with the schedule. So, Steph C is going to be filling in for the rest of the season. Yay! Yay. Yay. Excited to have four people. I know. know. And what about you guys? Um, Hey, guys, I'm Annika Michelle. And I'm Kelly Taylor. Yay. We have a complete yeah. table here. We didn't get no clocks <laughs> so welcoming. after our name. Thanks, Steven. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It was, it was not, okay. it was not <laughs> as good because we had to ask for it. That's true. That's true. Yeah, well, <laughs> just like Jenny asking for a ring, huh? It's um, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> so we've got Snooki and JWoww with, we all talked about this during the episode, it could have been a half hour. It could have been a half hour. Little yeah. long, little drawn out. It could have been 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, we were a maybe little. Maybe 15. Maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah 15. Yeah. No commercial break. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. I have to say, I was a little bit disappointed just by the lack of things that happened. I felt like this episode was just a bunch of fillers and fluff. Um, I know, like, it's, it's interesting because the first half of the season was all built up for Gianni and like um, Lorenzo and having the baby and now that the baby's here they're trying to focus on Roger and Jenny's relationship but there's just not much going on yeah I um I think because this is a newborn Mm -hmm. there's really not much that they can pull out of it so we saw Snooki whine and complain about not having enough attention but I mean, it's like, it's a newborn. What do you expect? So that's why they should have cut it down to 30 minutes. <laughs> they say a lot of moms actually go through that. Like, when the baby's born, everyone's like, oh, my God, the baby. Like, like she said, like, my mom doesn't even ask about me anymore when she calls. She just asks how the baby is, you know? and Like, like the baby blues? Yeah. So yeah. they say a lot of women go through that because everyone just cares about the kid and not, like, the person who just gave birth. Yeah, that's She's true. super sensitive. Yeah. And it's kind of like anything he does isn't enough mm. or it's too much. You know, she's yeah. being a little hard on him, I think. I agree with you. Um, my nephew's about to be seven, and I still call my sister and ask for Dale. Yeah, I do the same for my nephew. <laughs> I don't even say hi. I'm like, hey, can I speak to my nephew? No, I do the same. I, like, I'm like, can you put him on the phone, please? He's three. And so, like, I just talk to him, and I'm like, okay, great, bye, love you. Like, And Snooki <sighs> is so used to being the center of attention. Yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. she's so used to everything being about Snooki. Like, it's interesting, because people that are like that, they take either two... <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Two routes. They either then become like show parents and obsessed with their child, and everyone has to pay attention to their child, mm-hmm. or then they're somehow competing or jealous or upset. Yeah. So I would, I hope, and I think for Snooki, it'll end up being like all about Lorenzo and 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 that. It will. But um, I think she's just being annoying. <laughs> and her hormones are still like, kind of. going crazy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So her hormones are still like all over the place because mm-hmm. it's just like a week after birth. So she's still like, you know, she still has stitches and she's just not like <laughs> feeling hot. Yeah. So yeah, she's yeah. very descriptive of how not yeah. hot she was feeling yeah. tonight. <laughs> Hello. 
I mean, if uh -huh. I was Gianni, I wouldn't want to talk to you either. I'm like, I, mean, I don't know what to do because I, <laughs> that's not what I'm used to. Yeah. I don't know what to do about that. So, I mean, it's, it's, Snooki has to, she has to uh, accept that. And it's a new baby. Yeah. It's okay to show more attention to the new baby. She's an adult. She can get over it. So oh, yeah. true. Uh, show more attention to the baby. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, get over it. And it's not like Johnny has to go anywhere or go back to work or anything like that. They're both there together. I mean, mm -hmm. they have plenty of time together, you yeah. know? So I, I don't know what she's so upset about. And uh, what everything that we saw, they kind of fight for attention when the baby's awake. Okay, when the baby is asleep, then that's when you guys have yeah. your yeah. time. Yeah. But even when the baby's asleep, like she, uh, Gianni was carrying the baby around asleep, giving him a tour of the basement. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, does it matter if the eyes are closed? Like the kid can't even see what you guys are giving a tour of. And they were still fighting then about like who's holding the baby at what section of the tour and like about the video camera and at about three months they'll get they'll get sick of that yeah the baby will cry every time <sighs> it's not being held so they should it's break true. that right now yeah. while he's a newborn when he's sleeping you put him down it's true okay. it was kind of interesting too though because they fight for his attention when he's there but when she went to get her nails done he was outside playing football when yeah. he could have had one on one time with the baby he was just completely lied it's and true. was just like oh I'm just feeding the baby and he's really playing football <laughs> that's so true with the neighbor's kids yeah like. so it's more like you know them together with the baby who the baby's gonna like more yeah. almost you yeah. know what I mean because yeah. he could have had quality alone time that's very true he <laughs> so definitely could have <laughs> I think they're just bored they have nothing else to do so they're just like yeah. fighting with each other you know how, like yeah. you know even like with with me and my husband I mean we don't have kids yet or anything but like sometimes when he's there like all the time and uh -huh. I'm there all the time. Like, I don't know. It's like, okay, just go. Go yeah. with your friends. Do something because, like, it's too much, you yeah, know? I agree Sometimes with that. you need, like, a little break. You need something. You have and to I, miss them. Yeah, yeah. You have to, you have to miss them. So yeah. she went and got her nails done for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and talked to the nail guy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She talked to him as if he were her best friend, and she called, like, her personal people in her lives, like, by full name, Gianni and Lorenzo, they're at home while I'm here, you know, with Mr. Doing My Nails guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> she's an open book. I hope she's a regular. That's the only way that that conversation be would have come yeah. up. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, that's her main nail guy. Yeah. You know? And guy, by the way. We talked about this. Like, I, there's not too many nail guys that I... There isn't. Uh -uh. No, I've actually never I've even seen. seen one. I've seen nail guys in yeah. my nail salon, but, oh, really? like, yeah. They usually do the acrylics. I've seen them. <laughs> 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 the heavy duty work. Yeah. <laughs> but um it was just funny. Like he was and he even asked by name, he's like, How's Gianni? Oh. And like and so then that's when she started talking. I was like, This must you either must watch the show or It's probably the regular that's nail exactly guy. Exactly yeah. what I was thinking, but I was hoping it was her regular because yeah. I just cannot you know, I'm not gonna go to the grocery store and be like, Yeah, so Annika's okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> You get to know sometimes your people, like your That's hair true. girl, you know. Like, I really know the girl that does my eyebrows really well. And, you know. That's true. You, you create a bond. They're, like, touching you. That's true. <laughs> it becomes, yeah. like, a close bond, you know. Yeah. But let's backtrack a little bit, because at the beginning of the episode, we saw Dina. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I have to say this, too, and I think on behalf of all of us, we were a little bit... I guess confused by this episode because we all expected that there was going to be some kind of big reunion yeah. and it, or that's what they made it look like on the previews yeah so the whole time we were waiting for a big old reunion with everybody and then it was just only like a few people mm -hmm. you it know was like the poppins yeah the poppins uh, and the first was D uh dina and that was kind of non yeah, that was eventful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, for it to be Snooki and, Dean, and Dina, I thought it would have been a little bit different. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Snooki. I'm still getting used to her being a mom, where she's not so live and out there. So I don't know. I just thought when she got back with Dina, it would have been, you know, more eventful. Mm -hmm. so. I think one of the funny things was the little clips of Dina falling all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Giovanni that was, was like, funny. she's going to hold my baby. Yeah. Like, Sit yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it would have been better, like you said, if they were all, like, even if it was just Sammy, Ronnie, and Dina, like, have them come in together. I want to see mm -hmm. that dynamic, that, mm -hmm. that relationship of them seeing each other as well, you mm -hmm. know? So it was kind of disappointing that one was in the beginning of the episode just rolling in on her own, and yeah. the other one 
coming in, like the other two coming in towards the last like five minutes. And then we had the random friend that we don't even know. Oh, like yeah. we've never yeah. seen her in Jersey Shore yeah. history. But that's like her best friend since preschool. She did make but the we've nickname. Never yeah. Seen her. <laughs> yeah. She, she made can... the snooky nickname. Yeah. She's I mean, famous Katie. So she definitely should have had a little you more know, a little cameo in a few seasons. You I would have thought. Yeah. You know? We have been to be that close. Yeah. yeah. I would they they brought they did bring in they you know, friends or whatever. We knew Ryder mm, yeah. would be coming in a lot. Um, you know, even last season of the Sookie mm-hmm. and Jay Wow, there are some other girls that would pop in and out. Yeah. But yeah, Dina came and left. No, yeah, it was like, like not much going It's like on. you blink and she was gone. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I mean, it's obvious that they're all kind of living their own lives and doing their own thing. So, I mean, they was probably scheduling and Dino was probably somewhere and yeah. Ronnie and Sammy had their own schedules. And, it's true. You know, it's not like they're part of the show anymore and it's probably hard to get them all in one Together. space. But that last season of the Snooki and j well, they did have like some kind of, I think it was like a birthday dinner or some kind of dinner um, where everyone came over. It was when she yeah. said that she was getting married. Or that's she was pregnant. right. She was pregnant. Yeah. 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 That's when they all came over for dinner mm-hmm. at Jenny's. Oh, okay. I do remember that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. what are we talking about? Yeah. yeah last season. <laughs> yeah. I thought they were going to do the same thing here. That so. would have been awesome so mtv your previews were misleading misleading because we all thought the same thing right yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't think that oh, <laughs> oh, kelly's under the bus kelly. here she's like yeah. i was right i know i actually said last week that i only saw ronnie sam and dina yeah. you did say yeah. and then i think yeah. someone else said no i think i saw them all but i, I was like i don't know maybe i <laughs> closed like, my eyes to... but i didn't see them <laughs> didn't you think they would all be there together though at the same time even though those are the only people you saw well, I think you even made the point that her and Mike weren't that great they of were, friends. They weren't. So I said, okay, well, well, Mike probably wouldn't be there. Right. And Paulie is off doing, you know, his DJing thing. Vinny, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he could have. Maybe he's up. upset. That, Maybe you know. Or he's filming his own TV show for MTV. Oh yeah, we talked mm-hmm. about that too. I forgot. Mm-hmm. About That's that. true. So he could be busy doing that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. even that, Sammy and Ronnie were there. Like it seemed like they drove all the way there for. Five minutes. And then they're like, we'll leave you alone with the family. And yeah. like, oh, that looks yeah. great. You and then, shut up. And I just thought it was interesting that neither of them bought anything for the baby, but they brought a, some bottle, wine. Wine. a bottle of wine. Yeah. I was like, well, that should make her feel better that they didn't bring a present for the baby, nothing for her, yeah. you know? Well, I don't know, because when I've, I mean, to go a little bit off topic, but when I've visited friends with babies, I'll usually bring something like food or wine, because I can't pretend to know what they want or need. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids yet, you know, that's not my world, but... You know, I, I, that's usually because I've actually come up with that dilemma. Like, should I bring some babies, something for them? And I'll usually just bring that, wine, like yeah. wine or food or mm, something. Yeah. I do yeah. the same thing. I bring something mm-hmm. for the parents yeah. and then I'll ask once I get there, okay, what do you need? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I don't know either. I don't know. It's so many people probably bringing things. Yeah. You know, and that get baby the shower, thing. she doesn't need oh anything. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. She got her armoire. She's good. Oh my God, her armoire. She knew what it was this time. I know. Finally. Here's her armoire. I love that there they introduced go. the baby to it. Yeah. I know. Uh, yeah, and and he's going to hang his own clothes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah here you Come go. On. <laughs> you know, here's your chores. Hang up your clothes. I love how they went to Baby R Us and she got the self, like, breast pump. Like, it just sticks on her. And she comes out in her little leopard top oh and the God. self breast pump with, with the like, no hands. Hand. The the <laughs> Definitely, like, a jersey way to wear a breast pump, yeah. you know? And we talked about this, too, just, like, Snooki not having any shame. Like, that's the only thing that makes the show somewhat interesting, mm-hmm. just the fact that she has no shame. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. But that makes her so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know. That's why she's such a great yeah. personality to watch. Yeah. yeah, you know that's why they can do a show around her, because she is. She and has. She's so like. That's what makes her her. But you know, I wonder, mm-hmm. because we all know she's doing this for the cameras. Mm-hmm. Because she said it before. She knew that she had to be over the top in order to get the cameras to follow her, which brought us now to Snooki and Jaywow. I wonder how she was before. MTV, like if she was this graphic and this open and everything else. I, I would think that in some ways she was. I mean, not maybe to the extent, but mm-hmm. it's hard to change people to turn into that. You know, I yeah. think you have to have that kind of personality, that kind of outgoingness, yeah. almost like no shame. Yeah. Like you have to have that to an already. Extent. I think she totally, yeah, mm-hmm. had to have it. Because I feel like the cameras might have egged it on more, and she mm-hmm. hams yeah. it up now when she sees that it, people are accepting that this behavior of mm-hmm. hers and yeah. liking it, and you know, but yeah. I feel like with cameras people tend to get shy 
So to start, if she was totally shy to like reverse that, it it's might hard. have been more difficult. So I feel like she had to somewhat be somewhat somewhat yeah, oh, for sure. like that. yeah i mean right. I, there's so many reality shows out there there's mm -hmm. so many and you kind of i mean i love watching reality shows yeah. and you know you can kind of see how people react to cameras i would have to say i mean this might be a stretch but i think snooki is probably one of the most famous reality show stars like probably. you say the word snooki yeah everybody pretty much name. yeah everybody knows who that is yeah. i mean people know real housewives and this and that but like by an individual name yeah i would have to say snooki's probably one of the most famous yeah, so i think it, it has to do kardashian. yeah or the kardashians mm -hmm. yeah that too i always forget about them but um <laughs> but you know snooki's a one woman <laughs> thing i mean she, i think she, she did it because of her personality and who she is um and yeah the cameras probably brought that out of her even more yeah no, I wasn't. I didn't think she was by any means shy, no. but I didn't think it, she was that, as extreme. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. extreme. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Well, um, so yeah, so that's kind of it. So then we kind of see Snooki and Johnny kind of fighting throughout the episode, and I don't know. I think they'll get over it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't seem like they have like issues, yeah. relationship issues. And then um, yeah, then you know we see at the end Sam and Ron come in which is actually really cute mm -hmm. um and it was interesting how they said sammy doesn't want kids like yeah, at all yeah. i didn't realize that I actually didn't either no i thought she would always be the one like because she was always like into being in a relationship mm -hmm. so i thought she wanted to be the mom the homemaker the get married soon put a ring on my finger let's get married i want to be betty crocker mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe not betty crocker but you know what i'm saying no i agree out of all the girls yeah. i totally thought she was the one that wanted to settle down more than more anybody than snooki and jenny and yeah and she even said that 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 um sammy doesn't want to get married for a long time long time I, found I, I had the total opposite feeling. Maybe I just see and hear <laughs> things differently. Well, that's why there's I, four of us. That's what's good. Yeah. <laughs> I remember on Jersey Shore when we kind of first, I don't know, first season, second season, Snooki, that's all she would talk about is being married and having kids. And she always mm. said she wanted to have, you know, eight or nine kids, not mm. really, but a large number of kids. Offspring. <laughs> right. But then we never, ever heard Sam and Ronnie talk about that. And then they fought for ever five uh. seasons. Like, they just got to a good place. So I couldn't see them throwing kids or marriage into the mix. Mm. So I, I don't know. I thought differently. I always thought it would be Snooki and... The two of them kind of doing what they're doing now. I agree with you. They've been such a roller coaster, mm -hmm. the Sammy and Ronnie ride. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So Through the years. To think about, yeah, like, it's not shocking to me. Like, they have to sustain for a little while. You know, yeah. it's only been a season that yeah. we've seen where they've yeah. actually been good. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. They seem to be good now. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I saw it different. I thought she seemed to me as someone that was, like, really into like a fam like i don't know about family but like a relationship and getting married but yeah yeah um and so that pretty much wraps it up for snooki and now we move on to jay wow and jenny and what she's up to so Roger. they were at the beginning of the episode they were still in maine yes mm -hmm. they kind of finished that up um, boiling the lobsters. Boiling the lobsters. She didn't want to do it. No. But she did Sleeping good. in a twin bed. Yeah. <laughs> and her forever lazy, like you pointed yeah, out. Yeah, her pink forever lazy. Her, Everything's her pink now with her. Everything. Have you noticed that? Yeah. yeah. Nails were pink. Pink shirt. Pink pants. I'm like, I don't remember you being that woman. Look at this. It's pink. Like, I don't remember her being that into pink in Jersey Shore, but... And I have to mention this. I think ugh, her... Her fashion choices have just gone just like awful, and I don't know if it's because she spent the last three episodes in Maine, but like they're just like bad, like just like I don't know. I mean, she's she's JWoW. She could probably get some pretty decent, get her hands on some pretty decent clothes at this point. Definitely. Like you don't have to yeah. go to the mall and go to like Windsor Fashions and like yeah. grab like I don't know. I just feel like she needs to step it up when it comes to. Her I'm surprised fashions. like a stylist hasn't contacted her and been like, let me, you know. I'm sure one has. Some, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. sure she hasn't taken. She I'm surprised she hasn't taken it up on yeah. them. That's what I'm trying to say. She was yeah. probably like, "I got this." <laughs> <laughs> she probably really thinks she yeah. has. And then people like us are like, "What the hell were you wearing, right. Jay? Wow, like, gym <laughs> clothes, and like like gym clothes and stilettos. What do you have on?" <laughs> She's like, "I don't need you. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> good. I'm just happy that they took the like." 
blonde highlights That's out of true. the back pieces. Uh, yeah. the oh. They might have fallen out. Oh, <laughs> However, they came out. I'm happy that they, they kind of go. Right. They went past that. Snakey had a little bit of blue, but it wasn't like that overpowering like they used to do in the beginning. The red, the red stripes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, but Jenny has a huge closet with like two thousand pairs of shoes. Shoes a huge galore, cop closet purses, full of sweats, and V-necks. I know, yeah. juicy suits and like, I don't know, sweatpants and onesies and forever lazies. Do people like, still wear juicy? I think they she do. does. I've seen it. I think she does. I've seen it recently. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's I remember terrible. when that used to be a thing. Like that oh, used to be. It was a big thing. Yeah, that's what I said. Do they still right. wear it? Like, where is she getting this? Maybe that's why she has it. It's like half off. <laughs> oh, god. I don't know. Jenny needs to step it up when it comes to the fashion, but um. I mean, to give her a break, she was in Maine all week. Yeah, she was. She I mean, was. It. We would have made fun of her the opposite <laughs> way if she would have whipped out the heels. Yeah. I wish she would have. Then at least that would have given us something to say. Oh, that was cute. She yeah. didn't whip out the heels. Sweats and heels can work. She didn't whip them out last week in Maine. <laughs> She like tried in the beginning, yeah. and then he, Roger was like, uh, "You need to put. What are you thinking?" And yeah. she's like, "Oh, okay. Like I can't wear these in the water." <laughs> but but. If I had no cameras following me and I was in Maine, I would look like a total schlep too. Like right. I would. Mm-hmm. But if I had cameras on me, I think I'd probably try and like put myself together. But a little yeah, more at least more. like do like something like theme wise, mm-hmm. you know, wear like cargo pants, but like mm-hmm. cute ones, yeah. you know, like something cuter. Cuter. I'm on, I'm on TV, you know, like, <laughs> but if I were in real life, I'd be wearing sweats, too, so I right. can't, I can't knock her too bad, you Yeah, know? she's going, true. she's going for comfort, um, true. but yeah, so then it, then, you know, they leave me, and it, it's nice, because it really looks like Roger and Jenny are just really, just having a gr- good, kind of solid mm-hmm. relationship with meeting the family, or she'd met the family before, but it seemed like she met more of an extended family, right. and um, they just really embraced her. She embraced them. It seemed all nice, you know, peaches and cream and all that. And then they go back, and then they just start bickering with one another. Yeah. Over the dogs. Just over whatever. I mean, yeah. it just seems like they're just bickering, yeah, over the dogs. They're finding any reason to fight. And then they're just... I think it was, like, uh, Snooki and Gianni, like, they were just too much together. Like, mm-hmm. they went to Maine. They traveled. They stayed in a little twin bed together. Like... <laughs> You know, they come home, they're together, the dogs are all over the place, Roger scares the dog. Like, I think it was just like, my God, just give them, like, 10 minutes, an hour away from each other, and I think they'd be... I was thinking that, too, when we were watching it, that maybe they just needed to, when she came back, she should have just went and did her own Mm. thing. Yeah. You know, just to give it that break, because you've been in the car, and I've done that before, too. I mean, I have driven across country, and then by the time I get out the car after a full day, I'm like, I hate you. Don't look at me. (laughs) Like, I'm done with you. (laughs) We've been too close. Talk to me in two weeks. So, But in the same sense, I feel like she did such a good job in Maine for Roger to be a little bit harsh on her because she didn't watch the dog. It's not like she wanted the dog to go eat the fertilizer and get sick. You know what I mean? Like, he could have maybe been a little bit softer in the way he spoke to her because she was just making live bait for lobster you know what I mean she was so out of her comfort zone and knowing she might have needed a minute to like decompress you know because I like Roger don't get me wrong I love him but I feel like he was a little harsh yeah Yeah. it was petty after what she did I think he was sleeping like and then she's like what babe wake up and he was like sleeping in bed so I think he was also a bit more angry because he's like I just drove and I'm trying to sleep and you can't watch him for five minutes I can't sleep for five minutes you know right so I think it was like the anger of trying to go to sleep Mm -hmm. and of driving with her the whole like however long it took him to get back home and then he's just trying to rest and there's like an issue Right. Yeah, he was just irritated, I'm sure. Yeah. But he was very harsh because mm-hmm. at the very end of that segment, he told her if the dog leaves, he's leaving too. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jenny even said, like, you know, Roger just doesn't let things go. And and that's where you see their age difference, I think, mm-hmm. because he is significantly older than her. And then like you 12 see, years, I think. Yeah, and then you yeah. start to see him kind of treating her like that, like kind of disciplining her and and making a big deal out of like something small yeah. and like not mm-hmm. letting it go and it's like you could that's where you see that dynamic which is interesting that yeah. um you know it, in some ways they both feed off of it or like partly like that because they're together but um she did say too though that the way that they argue mm-hmm. has been changed mm-hmm. a lot like they used to fight and i think she said punch each other <laughs> and now she said they take a minute and then talk it out yeah. so that's an improvement too yeah. yeah they matured in their relationship and they probably know too for the two of them 
how they are. They're both probably kind of hotheads in a way right. that that's how they have to resolve things. Yeah. You know? They went to Sammy and Ron relationship school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. If any of them should start a business, it should be like the relationship school of yeah. like two hotheads and, you know, what to do. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would be this something. This might take a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be something. <laughs> to be able to talk about it. <laughs> I know. Speaking of businesses, did you see Ronnie wearing, just going back to the other, his T-shirt with... Um, smush cocktails. Yeah, yeah, smush cocktails. So that's what like his new... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was, I thought it was cute. Man. It was Product flashing. placement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well... I mean, I mean, it worked. If yeah. anyone's gonna promote his product, it'll be him. Yeah, you know? our situation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or yeah. And I don't know. Do we know anything about uh, Sammy and Ron? Did they get any show offering, or did MTV just kind of say, "No, I think we'll take they, care of the rest of them." There were talks of that at the end of the Jersey Shore season okay. that I think they're trying to get their own TV show. So supposedly, it's still up in the air. Yeah, um, but they'll have to revert. If they don't fight, I don't want to see it. I, that's the right. thing. I mean, for the honestly, for the best interest of their relationship, that's what I think. For the best yeah. interest of their relationship, they'd probably be better off not, not to have to do a show. One. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It's mm. true. Or it be like the life after being on reality show, then building a brand like the Smush Cocktail. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like a business yeah. thing. So it's not just like if they're just involved, the two of them. It's gonna be a mess. But yeah. what else does Snooki? I mean, does uh, sorry, does Sammy do? No She's clue. Doing oh. a, a, um, Workout mm. DVD. Sammy? Uh, doesn't she have a perfume, too? <laughs> Everybody has a perfume. I'm sure she has a perfume, nail polish, yeah. everything. Sammy? I have a perfume. Oh, yeah. well, there What's you go. What's it called, Stephen? It's called Desire oh by Stephen and Booth. Okay, nice. so even the, the producers here at AfterBuzz uh -huh. have their own perfume. Wow. That's true. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, but Sammy doesn't strike me as someone mm. who works out. or I mean, I know she does, but she doesn't. she's not like a fitness Person? No, I couldn't see that. I see that. At I all. think she's just reaching. She needs something <laughs> she to does. be known for because, right. besides hearing this from you, I'd never heard of anything about Sammy and Ron. So mm -hmm. I just thought they kind of got the short end of the stick. Yeah. Yeah. Even Vinny, who he didn't do anything the last few seasons either. Yeah. He has a talk show. Yeah, and and Polly's show was really popular, and mm -hmm. it's picked up for another season. Yeah. So that leaves like yeah, Sammy and Ronnie. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, and in some ways, I think they know they, they have to... Do something to stay to in the spotlight. Well, and also together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You right. know, the fact that they're still together, that's kind of what makes them relevant. Otherwise, yeah. if they were to break up... But I they were the... I watch a show of just Sam, Sammy or just No, Roger. they can't stand I'm, alone. I'm I heard they were the lowest-paying cast members. Oh, I'm really? Sure. They got paid the least amount, because, like, they didn't... I mean... They were boring. Did they not go to Dina? Um, I heard they were lower than I heard like Sammy and thing were low. It was like Sammy, Ronnie, uh, Dina, Vinny, Paul. No, maybe a situation somewhere in there. Vinny, wow. probably Jay, Wow, and then wow, that makes sense. Dina was like the life of the party along yeah. with Snooki. So Dina that, brought a lot yeah. to the show, especially yeah. not this last season, but the season before, yeah. before when, when the meatballs were together. Oh yeah. my God, she was crazy. Yeah. Like she, Dina did a lot of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know we're we're off topic. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but Dina even has like a life outside of Jersey Shore. She's going to be. Um, doing vo voiceover, like animating oh, really? cartoons. But can't you see her doing that with that totally. squeaky voice? She's totally. going to be amazing at that. And she kind of yeah. sings, too, sometimes. You hear her singing, and, mm -hmm. you know, I could totally see that. Good for Dina. I like Dina a lot. Yeah, think, she's a character for sure. I really yeah. liked her, though. I felt like she kind of got the short end of the stick with a lot of things. But I thought yeah. she brought a lot to the show and contributed a lot. I agree. Yeah. And I didn't think she got enough credit for it. So I'm giving her the credit. It's true. <laughs> Go, Dina. Go, Dina. Yay, Dina. <laughs> Way to make a comeback tonight. <laughs> <laughs> for five minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. There's not much else that really happens in the episode. So no. I guess we can move on to... Before uh, we move yeah. on to news and gossip, I just want to tell you guys, Maria's new movie that she's working on really hard, Serial Buddies, is coming out March 8th. If you're in L.A., Boston, Chicago, um, San Francisco, just get your tickets before they sell out. It's hilarious. I saw the trailer. I was... 
dying of laughter. It's like uh, Dumb and Dumber meets uh, Dexter. So if you guys like those movies and that show, this is the movie you guys want to see. She's worked really hard on it. Follow her on Twitter. You can go to SerialBuddies.com and check out the trailer. And Variety even wrote about them in their uh, magazine. Yeah. So. You guys definitely check it out. It's going to be a really good movie. Yay. March 8th. After Buzz TV yeah. News. Ooh. I love that intro, by the way. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Here, music. we'll play it again. Uh. Uh. <laughs> After Buzz TV News. You know, I kind of feel like a DJ. If we can play that back one last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 I like the DJ on your favorite radio the station. DJ. <laughs> okay, so um, there wasn't much much news out there today, but I did find some interesting stuff. After all that, after three news and gossip intros, you're <laughs> not, you got nothing. You got nothing. No, I don't have a lot, but I have good stuff. Okay. okay. So it's quantity <laughs> over quality this time. It's okay. quality, Wait, quality over that. quality. <laughs> we got you. We got switch you. Switch that. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. So um, <laughs> just going back to the show where Dina actually showed up and she held the baby. Snooki admitted to MTV that she was dead nervy, nervous <laughs> that Dina was holding her baby. So um, it's kind of funny how they, I think they kind of came up with the whole playback the clips of her falling because that's all they could think of was mm -hmm. her falling they didn't want to drop the baby. So next, um, speaking of weddings for Snooki and G or uh, JWoww, both girls want their weddings on camera, so they want to do a reality show for the weddings, whereas mm -hmm. the guys don't want to. So Gianni and Roger are saying no, so it's kind of a little fight in between both couples where uh, they're trying to see who, you know, is actually going to win, but we know they're going to have a reality show for it. Mm -hmm. And then my last thing, if we can see this cute little baby oh, Lorenzo this my week. God. <laughs> His little tie, he's like a little so man. Cute. And After Snooki. Buzz, Lorenzo, picture of the week. Oh, my God. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll yeah. bring a cute picture every week. Because he's so cute. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's on a leopard chair. Oh my my, God. Take he a good look. He looks like a little old man. Yeah. So, Snooki says in this picture, she dressed him as if he had business to take oh. care of and places to go. Oh. She took him to work, and she finally <sighs> told us that she is working on a kid's line. Oh. So, for a long time, she's been very tight-lipped about what else she's doing <laughs> after Snooki and JWoww, and she finally revealed that she's working on a line. He's so, so maybe cute. this is something that we can kind of look forward to. Yeah. Those are the kind of clothes she's going to have. squeeze his little yeah. cheeks. He's so cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> And that's, that's it. That's all I have for news and gossip tonight. So would you guys watch the wedding for Snooki and Gianni? Would you Something's watch it? Something's going to happen. That's going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I would. I, I would totally watch it because something's something gonna something gonna crazy something's is going to happen. happen. You think so? I think they'll wagon yeah. him down in the thing, like, to be, like, the ring boy that's or something. That's not crazy. I, I think, think she's going to have, like, <laughs> it'd be cute. <laughs> Live well, cheetahs in cages yeah. on the side. <laughs> J-Wow's ex, that, like, Tom guy, oh, is that his Tom. name? He'll show up or something. Oh, something crazy is going to happen. That, or her mom. Oh. Yeah. We're, we're, we're supposed to meet our mom. Some crazy yeah. stuff about our mom next week. Why yeah. have we never met her? She said no one's ever met her. None of the Jersey Show cast. No one's ever so met maybe her. Maybe next week's episode will be a little bit more interesting than yeah. this mm -hmm. week's. But with, with reality shows and, and weddings, I'm a huge fan of Bachelor and all that, but I just can't sit through the weddings. I think they're so boring. I, I don't know. If, I hope this one would be better if it's televised. Yeah. Because yeah. I think they're just... I don't know. Boring. But that's my opinion. So anyways, now for predictions. Oh, no music? <laughs> <laughs> You're not a favorite DJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only Kelly. <laughs> we'll just do it once. <laughs> um, all right, guys, what are your predictions? <laughs> I think um, because no one has met Jenny's mom before, I'm thinking she might be like, uh, this is crazy. Maybe like a drug addict or something. Or something. Yeah, or like, like she's it, she's been in and out of rehab, rehab, and Jenny's like embarrassed. Or jail or, or something. Or jail. It's something huge mm -hmm. because there, it's crazy that none of her boyfriends have met her mom or the cast of this show that she's been on for years now yeah. have met her mom. And she said she was like embarrassed. And she said, I'm embarrassed. No one's ever met my mom. No boyfriends, none of my friends. So there's a reason why she's embarrassed of her mom. Mm -hmm. So what is that reason? And they didn't even show a preview of her. Like, no. they're making you wait till next week to see right. what it is. And you wonder if they're even actually going to show it. That's what yeah. else I was you thinking. You know, because... 
like this week how we thought they yeah were coming maybe yeah. like two minutes mm -hmm. i mean it's, a, it's an interesting topic and i'll be i'm i'm curious to see how it's gonna transpire mm -hmm. but i don't i didn't get the sense that they actually ended up meeting her next episode yeah so i don't know i yeah it has to be something deep i mean at this right. point yeah it's not like she was just in one or two seasons of a show she's been in she's been for in the years. limelight for a while and her mom hasn't once made an appearance and did nobody's met like not just boyfriends but no. i wonder if snooki's met her mom or if anybody's she met her said mom. no one has so she's embarrassed and no one's met her mom yeah they, so it's gotta be something big if yeah. not even snooki has met her mom and they're and best her, friends her mom's gotta know that she's saying that her daughter's embarrassed of her right. too if it's been you know so there's gotta be some something weird, going yeah, on something hmm. something deep's going on yeah yeah, well. and she's really close to her dad, and she always says that she's like me and my dad are best friends. Like she always says that she's close to her dad, but you've never heard her once. This Talk is the first that. time I've talked to her. She doesn't even talk I about her mom. Like her mom was dead or something. Yeah, but. she doesn't even talk about her mom. Wow, yeah. that'll be really interesting. Yeah, well, we can give that one an hour next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they don't make it like the last two minutes right, and right. into the next week, you know? And the whole time you hear Snooki talking about pooping and farting. <laughs> and stitches. <laughs> and stitches. Oh, God. Oh, we didn't even bring that up. I had to. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's our show for you. Um, and where can we find everyone? Do you want to go first? You can find me at at I am Steph Z. I A M S T E F Z. And I am Kelly Taylor. And that's <laughs> Kelly with an I. K E L L I. Um, you can find me at Twitter at Annika underscore Michelle at A N N I K A underscore M I C H E L L E. I feel like we're a spelling bee. And I'm your host, Erica Vieira. You can find me on Twitter at Erica Vieira L A E R I K A V I E I R A L A. All right, we all spelled it. Woo! <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later, bitches! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.